If you were anywhere near the Cincinnati VA Medical Center, you probably heard that chanting today. Those nurses at Cincinnati's VA hospital say they don't have the staff or the tools they need to take care of our veterans. Nine on your side, anchor Julie O'Neill heard some disturbing stories from them and joins us live from Coryville now. Julie? Well, Carol, nurses here stood out in the cold today because they say they are burnt out. They say they're understaffed and veterans are suffering for it. They said they wanted to get the word out with all they have because they're tired. The nurses are burnt out. Um, the nurses are fatigued. Nurses at Cincinnati's VA hospital say they can't give the care our veterans need because there aren't enough of them. No one would want to need to have a CAT scan done on their lungs and somebody forgot or didn't have time to order it or to remind the provider that it was time for it to be done. And these are the kinds of things that I'm talking about in the outpatient area. The experiences seem to cross all areas of care. On my floor, I'm a psychiatric nurse. People have psychiatric emergencies. They're very distressed. And if we're not there, there's possibilities of people being injured. It was really chaotic just last night with uh, all the admissions we got and the, and the amount of nurses we had. We were all we were running everywhere, and people don't feel like they're paid attention to them. We're happy to do all that. The VA responded with a statement that says, in part, there is no higher priority for the Cincinnati VAMC than ensuring that veterans access the high quality care they have earned. But while the VA says it is working with nurses on these issues, some clearly feel differently. There are stories of uh, feelings, at, at minimum, of retaliation uh, for attempting to do their job or, or attempting to ask questions or, or raise concerns regarding doing their job. Now, we have the full statement from the VA on WCPO.com, and we will continue to follow all of the developments concerning the care of our veterans. Live in Coryville, Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side. Thank you.